We're going to continue now to talk a bit about the thrashing up here in Oban because it was very special then. And I think Tom Maney would agree that it was very special here in Oban. We're joined by Tom, by Tyke Crowley, by Jack and by William again. But Tom, it was special, wasn't it, in Oban? Oh yes, it was special. Well, it was special in every farmyard, you know, where the grain was grown, whether it was oats, barley or wheat, it had to be thrashed. And the wheat, you know, there was always some of that kept. You would always keep it, and there was no kill drain at that stage or anything at all. But there would always be a few bags kept, or maybe a half ton, and it would be dried by the fire. Maybe about a hundred or a half hundred weight. The most houses you would go into in the, in the month of October, November, there would be the bags of wheat at either side of the fire, and they would be dry out there until really it would be as hard as flint. And you would then go to some local mill, and uh, you, you know that that minute. You would bring it home and you would have lovely brown cake. It was excellent, it was even nicer than today's cake. But uh, the history I suppose of thrashing our band could go back a long way if you like. I think Jackie here saw thrashing with the flail. Then you had the, the two horsepower, you had the four horsepower. And in Rat Cool you had Pomeroy's um, steam engine yeah. driven by Christy Burns. He was the man in charge of that. But in my youth, and these men can think of the bit back, I'd be in the 50s, these men in the 65s. Uh, we had the Con Klim Keller. Con Klim Keller of our band with Danny Tay Dan Keller. They travelled, as far as I am concerned, as far as Limerick and back in the thrashing. Now, there were no rubber tires under that thrasher. I hope I'm giving the right name to the thrashing machine. I think it was made by a fellow in England called Ransom Simpson Jeffries. I think. You it. Yeah, there was another thrasher at the time as well, and the name of that was Crichton. That was another thrasher that came out. Right. And you see, you fed it down to the dangerous job feeding the shares down. Everybody knows about that. But for the sake of posterity and to recall what happened locally, it, it would be Con Klim and uh, Danny Tay Dan Keller. There were no rubber tires. There were iron wheels with big lugs in them, big iron lugs that length. It would do, I would say, about four to five miles per hour. Mm -hmm. And it would come back from the long journey abroad and thrash locally in late September and early October. Thrashings were a great time. There was often a house dance. There was always a good keg of porter. And uh, the saddest part about the keg of porter was when to be coming to the end, you would see there'd be air coming in and somebody would say, is she beginning to cough? <laughs> and they'd be all very sad about that. <laughs> you know, that would be the days. And uh, there was also, uh, there'd be the late nights and all the boys and girls would come in. And you know, there was many good uh, couple came together to court in the story, in the good old <laughs> But I'm sure now these men can, back, can go back further than can claims they can go to the, the horse and to the flail. You go to I the flail. To the flail. Yeah. They sing songs of the Shannon and the gently flowing leaf How the graceful mounts are mourn Slope gently to the scene. Oft times I've heard the singer's voice, Killarney's lakes are air. But list, my friends, I'll take you to a spot that's just as fair, <coughs> a spot beyond the winding road. That leads from Massey Town onward through the wooded lanes, where songs a wild bird sound. Perchance you'll see a signpost there, inscribed for all to see. Follow its direction to. A place called Ballina Green An exile's heart is yearning For days that used to be Those happy days of a childhood Around dear Ballina Green um, o oh, rising land to rallies, the gentle lawn of flows amidst the bog and pasture lands, its windy water flows. <coughs> Where oft I've heard the Carlo warn, the distant approach of morn. And Mother Nature wakes her sons 
to greet the early dawn. All Bagrock Mountains boast a pride, the likes I never saw. It stands alone, a precious gem, the Mount of Mushramor. In rapture neat a veil of lace that floats from far o'er the sea and from its misty heather the slopes you can see dear Balina green an exile's heart is yearning for days that used to be those happy days of childhood are on dear Balina Green. <coughs> of times I've wandered o'er the seas to many a distant land. I felt the sun's warm, gentle rays upon a foreign strand. Of times and exiles thoughts return to kindred far o'er the sea and friends of youth in bygone days around dear Balina Green an exile's heart is yearning for days that used to be those happy days of childhood around dear Balena Green. Well. <laughs>